What's up, movie fans, and welcome back to the David Lee Movie Vlog, where tonight I am binging The Defenders. Now, this is a spoiler-filled cast, so if you have not watched The Defenders, go watch it, come back here, and then let's start talking about it. So this, I'm on episode two, Mean Right Hook, and all the complaints I had with the first episode, from the writing, the action sequences, to the disjointed nature in the whole entire episode. It felt like everything was kind of reined in, and tighten up except for the writing writing was a little bit off like i was just like some of the lines i was like oh man you could have done a little bit better but the action sequences i thought were a lot better choreographed the whole entire disjointed nature between each series has come together and i finally finally feeling like there's actually a theme for the defenders and it's not this disjointed rhythm that you saw with episode one and it's interesting. It's like there's there's so many subplots going on all around us, but the one focal point that I literally love is every single time Sigourney Weaver's on there, she kills it. Like she has such a presence, and to have one of the hands main henchmen or main captains coming in there, like you've been seeing her throughout the whole entire series. She's that little old Asian lady. Who can absolutely kick fucking ass. She's like Yoda. And she comes around to Gordon Weaver. You can definitely tell so Gordon Weaver's a top dog. And it's it's just the way she plays it. So amazing. Like when you see the this like symphony playing just for Sigourney Weaver. Just that one scene, I would just like, this is perfect. I wish the whole entire series focused on you, and then we get to see the defenders coming against you and I, I just really want to follow her story because her story is so much more interesting this lady with so much power finds out that she either has a month to a week left to live and she wants to see new york be destroyed and it's so much fun to watch i really hope that the king fan comes into play because oh that would make it even better but the focal point of this episode was the big altercation between Luke Cage and Iron Fist. I mean, like, really, you, I have been wanting to see Iron Fist get the shit beat out of him. And I did hear from rumblings that Luke Cage is the one to do it. And man, does he do it. I, I mean, it was just like, I was, I was like a little kid. I was like, oh yeah, 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 you go beat the shit out of him. I am intrigued to see where this series is going to go from here. But it's, it hasn't really hooked me yet. I really want it to. I want more Matt Murdock. I want more Daredevil. I want to see what happens to Matt Murdock's master. I forget what the old guy's name. I think his name's Styx. I really want to see where he starts to play into this. And Electra in here. She's like Robocop. She's she's somebody you she's just on a mission and she's gonna do it. So I'm gonna go on to episode three. Have you guys seen uh, The Defenders? Let me know down below what you guys think about it. I'm going to go out and watch number three and see where this series take, takes me next. I'll see you guys next time on the David Lee Movie Vlog.